guys and welcome to today's lesson of everything worship. We're going to talk about um, both rhythm and lead electric guitar chords. Um, when I was first starting to play electric guitar, transitioning out of acoustic guitar, this was something that I really struggled with because it's the whole thing like, oh yeah, I've played all the G shapes like on acoustic guitar for so long. like. <laughs> And now there's another acoustic guitar playing that, so what do I play? Um, and we're going to talk about that. So what this stems out of is the D chord shapes and the movable A chord shapes. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about right now. So we're going to be in the key of C major, and I'm going to show you the chords that I would play in the key of C major. So this being the 1, this being the 4, or F. This being the 5, or the G. This being the 6, or the A minor. This, is, this being the 2, or the D minor. This being the 3, or the E minor. Now let's, now I'm going to show you what I'm playing there. For the 1, the tonic, or the C major chord, what I'm what I'm playing is the third fret on the A string, the fifth fret on the G string, and the fifth fret on the B string. So, or now for the four or the F, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pinky, which is on the fifth fret of the B string, and you're gonna slide it up one fret. So. It's going to sound like this. So that is the 3 on the A string, the 5 on the G string, and the 6 on the B string. And if you want to, you can bar it and you can add um, the 3rd fret on the D string to make it sound like this. And this is your basic D shape. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take that shape and slide it up two frets. And that is your G or your 5 chord. That is the 5th fret on the A string. That is the 7th fret on the G string and the 8th fret on the B string. And if you want to, again, you can add the 5th fret on the D string to make it sound like this. Now let's go over the 6th chord or the A minor. So let's go back to the C. Now what you're going to do is I take um, my middle finger and I'll put it on the 5th fret of the E string to make it sound like this. And what that is doing is it is, one, it's going to mute the rest of the strings because you no longer want that root note of C played over there. You want the root note to be that A on that E string. So it's, so that's your A minor or your sixth chord. Now to get your D minor and E minor are a little bit more interesting. So what you're going to do is you're going to slide up from your root, you're going to slide it up two frets. But you're going to want to make that chord the minor. So you're, you're going to have the 5th fret on the A string, the 7th fret on the G string, and the 6th fret on the B string, um, making it sound like this. Or, and that is your 2 chord or your D minor. Sliding that up 2 frets. Makes that your E minor. So that is the 7th fret on the A string, the 9th fret on the G string, and the 8th fret on the B string. So all together you have your one chord being your 
your C, the 4, which is your F, the 5, which is your G, you have your 6 chord, A minor, and then you have the 2 chord, D minor, and the 3 chord, E minor. Now, knowing these chords, you can take them and you can transpose them to any key that you want to. Um, so let's say I'm in the key of E. So what you're going to do is you're going to find your E. You're going to find your E note on the A string. So where you would normally play like in an E bar chord. That's where you're going to start with that first E chord. So there's my one or my E. There's my four, which is my A. There's my five, which is my B. There's my six, which is my C sharp minor. These are very easy to incorporate in your worship service. So when you're going, if you're a rhythm guitarist, your lead guitarist could be going. And that, that just makes things so much easier. It helps, well, one, for nobody to be playing the same chord shapes, making sure stuff isn't muddy. Um, and, it, and it just allows you to get thick. You can throw on a lot of overdrive and just kind of keep the house down and make sure that things are um, getting built the way they need to be. So these are the chords that I would use as, as a rhythm or lead guitarist. Um, this is, these are just chords that I found or somebody showed them to me and I'd never seen another YouTube video about it. So I decided I'd make one. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to everything worship. It, it gives us, um, incentive to keep making videos and we hope to grow the channel. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.